everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to share with you these coloring books that I picked up at Michael's. They're called Creative Haven and they were only $8, which is a really great value. And um, I had to pick some of them up. They have about 30 sheets in them and they're single sided, but I thought I would share them with you as a flip through so that you guys can see what's on each page to see if maybe you wanted to order them online for yourself. So this one is the Whimsical Gardens and it is so adorable. So I'm just going to flip through what you get on each page. So it actually comes with two examples. The front page and the back page have a colored up um, image for you, but look at this garden party. Oh my goodness. I saw that and I just had to get this coloring book. It is so cute. So this is just all different types of things you might see in your garden. So there's this little garden shed, a nice little walkway with the fountain, some bird feeders, really cute tree. And it has like smaller images and bigger images, which is really nice. I love the flowers and I do like how it's single sided because the paper is like a good quality. I feel like you could do some Copic coloring on it if you had like a blot sheet behind it or you could use any type of markers or pencil crayons. So I thought that was neat. And also they do have like a little perforated edge there so you can rip them out. This one's really cute. It's like the front of a garden. There is the garden party one blown up. This one is so cute. I think I might have to make a photocopy of it because I don't want to. I want to color this one like five times in so many different ways. It's so cute. I love this one. So a really nice versatile set. I'm just so excited about all these coloring books. I think I have like six or seven of them now, which is sad because it'll probably take me my whole life to color them, but they're just all so cute. And each one has that one coloring page that you like really have to color <laughs> and he just stuck there we go so this one is like a little pond a little garden shed this one's really cute that reminds me of the wizard of oz you've got that cute little scarecrow and the last page is this one so it's like a little wishing well which is really sweet and then again as I said the, um, the back page has like a little colored image so that one is the whimsical gardens and now I'll show you the Christmas trees one I was so excited they had Christmas coloring books and I think they'll have a lot more by the time Christmas comes around but they had a snowflake one a like a winter scene one and they had a sweater weather one which was super cute the sweater had it was an ugly sweater and it had all these different really cute decorated sweaters but I only wanted to get one so this was the one I decided on was the Christmas trees. So again the front page has a really cute colored up tree and then the different trees they have are just so cute. You get so many different um, types of trees. This one has like little musical ornaments, some snowflakes. This one is my favorite. It has some cupcakes which is so cute. This one has some really cute little um, ornaments there. This one is a paisley one. I've got a little snowman. This one's really cute, it's like candy. This one has all hearts, some nice pincettas. This one has some flourishes. This one's super cute too. It's got some teacups and teapots, some doves and angels. The butterfly one's really sweet. I think this has like everyone's favorite motifs on it. This one has some cute little gingerbread. This one's really cute. It's like a little beachy themed one. So there's all different types of um, seahorses and that type of thing. Starfish. Another flourish one. This is another cute like Florida one. It has some different types of fish. And there's a little flamingo on there. Octopus. And this one's really cute. It's like patchwork homemade type of ornaments. Love that. And then this one more traditional one. I love that one. It's nice and full. And another flourish one. This one has foxes and owls on it. Like I said, I think it, this book has a little something for everyone. I was so excited about the foxes and owls. That's probably the first one I'm going to color. And again, these are single sided. They are perforated and really nice quality. This one's like a pet one. How cute is that? There's little cats, dogs, fishes, everything you can think of. So cute. And this one has bows 
And then this one's more like a traditional one. And then again, at the back, you have a colored up one. So super cute. I think these are adorable and they're a great value. They're only $8. So if you're wanting to get started with some coloring books, this is probably a really great way to start because it's not a super big book and it's single sided. So I definitely would recommend these. So um, again, I picked these up at Michael's and I'm sure they had them at the US Michael's as well. Or I'm, I bet if you Googled them, they might even have them on Amazon, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to share those with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Bye now.